Alright, alright, alright. So, turn the music down just a little bit so you guys can hear me a bit better. Here we are, going back at it again. Playing since of Nautica. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll make it down to uh, the depths. I know I'm, like, really late on <laughs> doing this stream. Uh, this stream was originally scheduled from 8 to 10, um, but here I am, uh, jumping on almost at 10. Um, I'm sorry for the late stream, uh, had a lot of stuff come up today, um, and really kind of wanted to get to this stream for you guys and so forth, um, so here I am getting this stream in, I know it's late, and I'm sorry about that, um, but for the majority, a lot of people watch my, uh, the VODs, watch the video afterwards, um, so this is more so for those of you who watch it afterwards, I thank you so much for giving me your support and watching afterwards and so forth, um, I have linked in the chat room here, my Discord, and my YouTube, both of them are there. So um, if you guys want to uh, jump into my Discord and um, either give me comments or just appreciation or whatever, it uh, would be greatly appreciated. My YouTube is there, that is where all my videos from the first episode of me doing Subnautica to this episode, once this one's done, um, I'll be posting it in there as well. Um, I've really been doing a good, I've been doing the best I can to make sure that you know, the videos I record get posted there quickly, shortly, and are up running on my YouTube at least in the next like day or two. Um, so I'll be doing that as well. Uh, so you guys are also aware my schedule is going to be changed up just a little bit. 
I will be going, I've been out of work for the past like two weeks, which is why I've been having the random uh, stream that's been happening generally about Wednesdays or so, Wednesday, Thursday, I've been doing a stream of Subnautica randomly. Um, I can't guarantee I'll be keeping with those. I should be switching back over to my normal schedule of either doing like a Saturday or a Saturday, Sunday, or even just a Sunday stream. Um, my major plan right now is really just kind of get this done and over with. And once this gets, once I get through Subnautica, um, we'll move on from there. Uh, I talked about talked about it before about doing a Subnautica episode where I'll sit here, I'll open up my tablet, and we'll go through all the the recordings, all the data, all the the lore and the information from the data pad. Um, and chances are I will do that one before uh, you know probably somewhere around the construction of the escape shuttle um when we're doing that um just to kind of keep things flowing and keep things in a nice process and manner so uh, give me one second and we'll get into subnautica Okay, so we're going to transition over into Subnautica, and in the process of doing this, I'm also going to time out the music, because that gets a little loud as well. Alright, so here we are in Subnautica. Um... We're back in the lava. Um, we're in the lava biome. I did leave out of here um, on my own volition uh, to kind of just get some upgrades going and whatnot. So our, as you can see, if we get in here, you can see our depth is now at 1,700 meters for the Cyclops. It is also at 1,700 meters for the... Um, the prawn suit as well so we can make it all the way down to the very deepest of the depths with both vessels um which will be real fun and amazing and it'll be nice <laughs> um another upgrade that i did do is that as you guys can see i have ion power cells on this side all three of them are ion the other three are still regular power cells um, we have everything all set up. Our maximum energy is at 3,600. With our thermal generator, we're at high power. Um, and we have everything set the way we need to. Um, so, uh, two major things we can do here. One, we can, uh, move forward and then, ooh, lava lizard and gas pot eggs have been discovered. Um, so those eggs that I, I, got i took them over put them in the creature containment facility and they have now hatched and now we have our lovely new creatures so um i'm glad i don't have a camera i had to turn off the light so i can see my screens a bit better so um which is also something later I, i've had a couple of people ask me why i don't do a camera i don't do a camera mainly because i don't have a good camera First of all, and second of all, because I, I'm not fully comfortable with being on a camera right now. Um, so, it's possible I might make it a mission. Um, we're not going to put it in stone right now. But it is possible that after I hit maybe 50 followers, I might do a face reveal. Um, and we have a creature on our ship. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to... Is he out there?
Yeah, he's right there. Okay, so we're going to go to um, Silent Running and hope that he just kind of leaves us alone. I doubt he's actually going to leave us alone, but we'll give it a shot. Nope. Nope. He's not going to leave us alone at all. He is, he is most definitely angry at us, and he is attacking our vessel. Okay, we are going to go over here, maybe? Silent running is not helping us too much right now. These look like some calmer waters and lands. I, I, I need a camera. I need a camera. I need to see what I'm doing here. Okay. Okay, maybe a good spot right here. I, I have no idea, honestly. Okay, so we do have some damage to the vessel. Let's let's go take a look. Where is it? We have two of those, uh, three of those, and damage right there. So let's go fix some damage. There's a warper right there as well. There are several warpers. Okay, you know what? I don't, I don't like this area. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Um, um, there's a little bit of damage to the ship. There's not a, a extensive damage. Mm -hmm. Let's move, and then I will possibly fix the damage. Okay, so I will let you know right now. Sonar is nice because it gives you a great view of everything, but what it also does is it lets him know where we're at. And he doesn't like the sonar at all. He hates the sonar. And he will attack us with sonar. So we are going in this direction. We are looking for a giant hole. That 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 is a warper. That is not what I'm looking for. Okay, I think we have found it. Okay. This might be um like the best spot I'm gonna find to go fix the ship. Oh my goodness. My battery died as soon as I started using it. That was messed. I really don't like his roars. <laughs> He's scaring the beans out of me right now. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. So this is the hole we're looking for. Okay, I'm going to have to get in the camera real quick. Just so I can line us up into the hole properly.
Is that it? That is that, that is not it. I think that's it. This might be a tight squeeze, guys. Just a heads up. Well, that doesn't seem creepy at all. Activating the protection. It is very hot here. I am taking damage. Okay, we've repaired the damage. We're gonna shut the lights off. Okay. Hopefully, he will leave us alone. real quick drink a bottle of water all right we're gonna jump with a prawn suit and quickly run into the run in here um got that I thought I had a blue tablet. Guys, did I use my blue tablet? 
I think I used my blue tablet somewhere, didn't I? Whoops. Okay. Orange blue tablet. Two canonite and an ion crystal. I should have that. I'm gonna go down here. Let's grab ion crystal. Just enough. Wait. Blue tablet. I knew we had it, guys. I knew it. Oh, it all activated on me. Now here's the best part. Step away. And this activates. And it will create another ion cube for you. Actually, going to take these ion cubes real quick. Ancient blade. Like I said, I will do an episode where we go through all of this data, all of this lore, because um, all of this becomes really, really interesting. And most of all of these do have pictures, as you can see um, over there on the left. It's got a picture for it, so you guys can see what it looks like again later. Rudimentary tablet. And the best part is, is like if you actually like pay attention to all this lore, it comes in. It comes in play later. Alien technology. Translate, uh, translation device, nanobots, all of this lore comes into play later um, when you actually sit there and you play the second game. Um, so, alright, so we're going to go, we're not going to go that way just yet. What we're going to do is we're going to go up, left center, right center, and then we're going to go into the four sub rooms before we go that way. So, starting off, we're going to come up here, we're going to collect this data point. Enzyme 42 project data. So, I will tell you this much Enzyme 42 is technically the enzyme that the cure enzyme that we have been looking for preserved fetus as you see this almost looks like the guy that's outside sea emperor fetus preserved egg casing Um, pretty much diving into the lore of this without like really diving into the lore of this <laughs> without actually sitting here and busting out the tablet and reading you guys all the lore um, the sea emperor excretes enzyme 47 
the excretion of en enzyme 47 is essentially their long awaited cure answer to um, the Kara. Um, so, they were trying to hatch the sea emperors to make enzyme 47 or 42, um, but it wasn't working out, and they couldn't figure out why, um, to which we find out, um, in this game is because they could not understand each other. Okay, so outflow pipe. Enzyme host peepers leaving contam uh, contaminated facility. Or containment facility. And then this is a fauna biome. So n typically all the plants you can find in one fauna. In one of the faunas. This is uh, essentially a map diagram of all the different locations um, all interconnected to each other so this containment center linked to that one linked to that one it's supposed to actually be a linkable map um, most of us don't actually know how it works this is one of the other biomes this is the spare uh, the uh, barrens here's another one blue, dark, one of the darker space, space barons. Ventilation control, here's our inflow. This will come in, um, come and play later, the outflow inflow, um, because the outflow and inflow work together um, after you hatch the sea emperors so that the cure gets spread throughout all of the areas. So you'll actually notice that the fish that used to have the green pustules on them don't have it anymore. Um, which comes in very helpful later. Because um, then you're not getting sick anymore. <laughs> there's an egg, there's an egg. There's an egg, which, if you actually pay attention to most of these, and if you've collected all of these, you know what egg is what. Which makes it really awesome. Bone shark, so forth. Like, one of these, I want to say this one, is supposed to actually be one of the uh, reef back eggs. Um, but I hear that's like one of the hardest eggs to actually find. That's a sea empress. The sea emperor egg. Um, again, a full collection of the eggs um, that you can actually collect wildly um, out there in the wild. Um, so it's all just it's just all the eggs that you can actually collect. Um, and I keep hearing rumors of how you're supposed to be able to collect an egg for the reef back, but I have not been able to actually find an egg for the reef pack. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so we're getting back into the game here, back into the, the mix of it all. Um, I'm going to need... Oh, my bad. Lower that back down. Oh, I do have four iron cubes. Never mind. So I don't need more ion cubes. Okay. So I needed four iron ion cubes because these are teleporter rooms. Um, and honestly, the teleportation sequence takes a while to load you into the different areas. So I'm just going to activate the teleporters and then we will do it later. Um, but essentially, the four teleporters take you to different rooms 
um, in the different biomes, which comes in very helpful when you're needing to collect um, the resources for what's going to be called the hatch, the hatching enzyme, which is what you're needed, what is needed to hatch the sea emperor, the sea emperor eggs. Um, yeah, I guess it's interesting. You know, I wonder. I've heard rumors. Nope. But I wonder. Okay. So I had heard a rumor that you could place a room inside here. I know you can place it in the water down where the sea empress is at. Um, you just have to be careful of what you build and how you build it because it needs to be strong and sturdy. Um, but essentially, like, you could bring in the resources to actually build a small little hatch room there in her, her containment facility where the hatchlings are so that essentially you can just collect all the resources, make the enzyme in her room, and you're pretty much good to go. Um, and I think I need two purple tablets is what's required. Sorry, I had to have my hand off the mouse there for a second. Luckily, I know where I'm going. All right, so now all the teleporters are activated. Um, I want to say it's two purple tablets is what I'm needed. I need one purple tablet to, en to get access to the room, and I'm going to need another purple tablet to get access out of the room. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds. Um, no, it's blue. So I am going to have to go build a blue tablet. Um, like I thought. Okay, we're going to enter the prom soon. We're going to exit the prom suit. It's going to drop down. We're going to open the storage. We're going to take three ion cubes out of it. We're going to enter back into the prom suit. Hopefully, yep, it's walking now. We're going to collect three more ion cubes. It's the only thing I don't like is like, yeah, it's a renewable source of ion cubes, but it only gives you three at a time, which isn't all that great. So. As you see, if I, it, it'll activate with me standing right next to it, too. <laughs> all right, so we're going to head back down this way. And we're going to see. He's not happy. He's never happy. Okay, we're going to wait for a second. swim it guys with this back turn we're gonna swim it all right check the ship health ship's health is good I think he knows I'm in here guys <laughs> I'm in danger okay let's see some Chinese potato Maybe one more for good luck. Okay. So I'm going to put blue tablet. Nickel. Diamond. You know, I don't even know if I have two diamonds. Be nice to know, though. Rotten. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, 
You know I'm here. One second. Go. Okay. So back there in the very back of the room, all the way there, that is a teleporter. Um, and in order to activate that teleporter, you need a tablet. I don't remember which tablet. So and we go. Oh, warning, you might get scared. The friendly giant sea creature. All right, let's we'll clear out a little bit. We need to go that direction real quick. Random ion cube in case you just needed to activate it. So, what that means is that all the predators in this area will not attack. At all. They just don't. And it's great. And it's lovely. And it's wonderful. So, like this guy, he's not going to attack me. He's friendly. All your predators in this area are friendly. So if you ever had an issue trying to scan any of the predators, now is your chance to scan them in peace. Oh, hi, Mama. <laughs> She's big and she freaks me out half the time because like, I don't expect her to be there. it out. I'm going to put an ion cube inside here. This is going to activate the facility. With rare 
plankton like life form, which depends on organic. All right. This one I have to read Hatching Enzyme. Specimen eggs are attached to some sort of incubator. Okay, so we need to make the hatching enzyme. Now, if I go in here, somewhere should be the blueprint for the hatching enzyme. We don't see it. You know, it's funny, I still don't have the stasis rifle. <laughs> Should really be in my crown suit right now so I'm not losing oxygen. Blue blueprint required. Hatching enzyme. So, this is what we need. I stalker seed, ghost weed seed, bulb bush, fungal sample, and sea crown. So, we have to go on a hunt. Now, for most people, they'd sit there and be like, oh, that's such a pain. You know, I am now having to travel all the way back and everything else just to essentially get the required resources for the hatching enzyme. But one of the greatest things about it is, is that essentially we can go and come back freely and not have to deal with anything else. Um, so literally going back to the cyclops and traveling back up is actually helpful because um essentially it puts the ship up there um if that makes sense so um Wrong button. Relearning my buttons here for a second. Okay. So, we're going to take a fast adventure where essentially we're going to hop back into the Cyclops. We're going to take the Cyclops back up. And essentially, um, we will 
enter back in here via the secret way. Which actually, hold on a second. I might be able to get... Because I never thought about this. Maybe I can get all of the required things here. So there's Brain Coral. Oh no, I need Bulb Bush. Dang. We're going to see if we can't find what we need in here. I don't think we're actually going to be able to find it in here, but we're going to, we're going to try anyways. There's one. See crown seed. Okay. So we got one. So like I would come down here with like the the um what am I thinking of the one of my other vessels, but the problem with me coming down here with one of the other vessels is that or with the uh the sea moth is that the sea moth would literally be crushed at this depth. Regardless of how this area actually looks, this pressure um from being this low literally does not change and it would actually harm and damage the ship. Let's see if I can break this rock apart. I don't think so. It's not vibrating like it should if it was going to break apart. Oop. We're outside of the, the realm. We broke the world for a second there. Very dangerous thing to do. Um... Yeah. Alright. So we're gonna have to do this. Alright. 
So we're, we are actually going to have to leave. Now, here's the trick. We either leave in one of the most interesting ways possible of going through a teleporter, leaving the Cyclops down here, or we take the Cyclops out of here and take it to one of the teleporter sites, which honestly I think is the option I'd rather go with. Okay, let me exit out real quick. So we're going to hop in the Cyclops and we're going to get out of here. That way, um, it's not in danger anymore. Um, and hopefully we make it out of here safely. And he disappeared into the lava. <sighs> Alright guys, we're going to have to do this. Silent running. Let's put the shields on. I say it's this way.
Ooh. See, yeah, he's right there. Gotta go that way. All right. Once we get in the cave here, we're gonna. Hi, J1111. <laughs> Adventure is going interesting. <laughs> I don't like the sea dragon. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to stop here for a second, repair the ship, and let my thermal generator re uh, rebuild my power. Yeah, uh, see, I, I need. Oh, so just J. Okay. Well, I will remember that. How is your night going? <laughs> yes, God's looking to really be a pain. Magna rays. Wow. <laughs> Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, no, it's not my first playthrough, Jay. <laughs> um, it's actually my first playthrough um, in survival, but not my actual first playthrough. I just ate him. I hate it when I do that. I am doing fine, Mr. <laughs> I am trying to survive. <laughs> well, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, I, I need to not stay up too late doing this either because I do have to be at work at like 5 in the morning tomorrow. And it is like 10.30, 10.40 for me, so... Let's check the ship power. Oh, we're doing fine. Uh, 
Let's get out of here. He's trying to eat the fishy. Let's push this simulator that I have in my Cyclops. Yes. Um, it just seems aesthetic to put it there. I'm on the hunt for aerogel in the game now. Ooh, aerogel, so... Um, aerogel is one of those interesting things that in order to actually make it... You no, know, you know, we're getting bobbed. Um, you need... the bulbs, which... An abundance of them are in the, if I'm correct, should be in the um, blood kelp forest. I think I went the wrong direction, guys. Well, in a sense, the wrong direction. This is not... I didn't think he was still there. So I'm essentially going back up topside so that I can get the resources required for the um, hatching enzyme. Um, that's where my damage is. Um, refine the blood kelp forest. Uh, the one that I've normally been entering in is in between the um, the Cannon Island and the Degasi Island, if you remember what those two are. Go Sweet Seed, there we go. Shot two cyclops, one stationed in the lava section, and the other to the room near the surface. And the other to roam near the surface. Oh, that's actually a very interesting idea. Um, you, I just got the um, fungal bulb eye stalker. I have an eye stalker at the health at uh, my base. Um, I just opened up the teleporter in the hatching in the hatchlings area so normally what I tend to do your pod 19 or something I think that's where it's at yeah the pod 19 should be a good spot which by the way if you're not aware I'm gonna do this on here so people can see uh, right here where it says beacon management like if you scroll down you can actually like see all the different pods um yeah pod 19 should be where one of the blood kelp ones are because it's about 300 or so so um but anyways you can reactivate the beacon so that you can see the beacon again Um, that way, if you really just don't want to go back and collect all of the beacons that you've actually placed, you can actually hide them. Um, I know exactly where I'm at right now. That's lovely. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to use... Um, I'm going to have to be careful. Because I'm coming out right at the sea emperor or not the sea emperor um the leviathan at the nose of i should be at the nose of the um the aurora crash site yep i sure am
Engine off. Nope. It's one of the electroshock dudes. <laughs> Simply use the, the stargates to travel quickly from surface area to lava section. No need to navigate. Cyclops up and down. Yep. That's what I do. Oh, yeah. Stasis rifle and the heat blade. Let's go. Right? I might do that challenge before I leave. <laughs> um, what exactly is... Over here. It's just that dude. He's freaking my ship out. The Reaper should be somewhere around here, because that's a cannon. Reaper should be somewhere over there. Right in this general area. But <laughs> Hello Fox. This is going to be electrifying and it's going to stink, but I'm going to do it anyways. Bald bush. There we go. What blueprints did I just get? Oh, Magna Boomerang and Boomerang. <laughs> uh, up on your stream earlier, and I just missed you. <laughs> I know. I did too. I missed this stream. and Eye Stalker. Okay. Should be able to make both of those here shortly. Oops. Wrong button. Tab. Uh-oh. Something bumped us. We're getting bumped. No damage, though. Alright. Engine on. Run. <laughs> That's the plan. I'm probably gonna get hit. Just, just head that over. Yep. <laughs> I'm so we did now we're back. Uh, uh OBS up and running and Jazzy we're going to test it out for a bit with Asmo. I have sounds now working and stuff for them. Nice. Did I not get attacked by the Emperor or the Leviathan? That's crazy. Uh, 
Stop here for a second. No actual damage to the ship? That's pretty awesome. Alright. Mushroom sample. There's Eye Stalker back at the base. Which means I can actually just come back with the Sea Moth. Uh oh. We're tipping the ship, guys. <laughs> we made it back from the adventurous deeps. Sifley. <laughs> uh, my ship's power is not doing great. <laughs> I'm going to drop below the reef backs. <laughs> I'm gonna use this yeah, capture card for my PS4 system. <laughs> that would be nice. Alright, so there's the Neptune platform. And then uh this here is Oh you know what? I forgot. I see moths all the way down there. <laughs> oh well. So this is the lovely new base. Oh. All right. Hop out real quick. So in preparation, I was trying to collect all of the native fauna around the area. There's Eye Stalker. Apparently missing veined metal. Jelly shroom, ghost weed. Yeah, for the most part. So. These are the big things you need for aerogel. If you get one of these, the gel sacks, you can grow them in the exterior grow bed. And if you hit it, you can hit it up to three times, and you get three seeds from one. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I tried hard. Um, so in here, I now have a larger alien containment facility, which has uh, two levels to it. I have the memorizer, and these are all the ones that I've actually hatched. So, come in here, this is, I moved the scanner room. This is where the scanner room is at now with the dual upgrade for speed and distance. Um, my food garden, as I've said before, um, pretty much the Chinese potato and lantern fruit are kind of the best ones to go with. The melon gives you a good, up, a good proceed of uh, water, but not the best. Hello, bananas! <laughs> um, and then going through the bulkheads here. New upgrade for the base is a nuclear reactor. So I have consistent power. And I just keep it behind closed doors just because it is a nuclear reactor and I keep it off the side of the base. Practicality. 
Things are going. I am progressing in this game. Slowly but surely. Uh, main fabrication room. Blueprint for the enzyme, which we're going to make. Doing good, just finally enjoying some time off and catching some full sun streams. We built base and lava section. I have built it, a base in the lava section before, um, but I don't have one here. Um, and then the bedroom with all the wall posters, vending machine, coffee machine, because you got to have them. Um, two nice little plants in here as well. Cat poster next to the table, and so forth. So, <laughs> nice little new base tour. And then, uh, I can't get up on top of it right now. Um, but Neptune, Neptune platform is right there, which... All I've done is actually build a Neptune platform. I have not built anything for the Neptune. I will do that later. Streamers must be. <laughs> Thank you, Mister. I've worked on it. Uh, there's an enzyme. Hold on. I'd be down for some uh, Phasmo um, if I can work it. Uh, they make good bunkers when Godzilla chases you. You know, I, I don't doubt that at all. You know the answer. <laughs> There's a dope on here. Never played sub before, but it doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, we are all down for some Phasmo. Always down for some Phasmo. Some good old spooks. Alright. So now... Try not to hit my face. And we're going to head towards the cannon. Well, that's good. I know, like, the hardest thing about this game is actually doing, like, material collection. But, uh, as you saw with the enzyme, like, I literally just collected everything for the hatching enzyme in the process of getting back to the base. Um. Which, if I remember correctly, that's a really cool, like, fish formation. Just saying. Um. The eye stalkers should be somewhere in between the blood, the the red kelp area, and the mushrooms. I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember. Um, I normally find them towards the island, honestly, or towards uh, the Degasi Island. Okay. So, as you know before, coming around to the side of the island, you will run into the cannon. Um, which you kind of have to be careful because there is a little biothin over in this area. <laughs> yes, there is an actual end to Subnautica, um, which for today's stream, most definitely what I will be doing is I will be get hatching the... Uh, 
Yep. There's the attack. He's right there. He came out of the deep. Oh, he's coming back for a second bite. Alright. So this is the game. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. So here's the cannon. That is the portal that we have recently opened. And I'm going to turn here. We're going to park this sucker right inside. And this is the moon pool inside the cannon. And she fits beautifully just inside. Like it was meant to be. <laughs> Hold on a second. I don't like that. Half my ship's coated in water. If it's not <laughs> the graphics in this game. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's better. Uh, there's damage to the ship. It's low side. So we do have the hatching enzyme, now we're going to come in here. Just for the sake of having something that produces oxygen for us, we're going into it with this. Actually, you know, we, we are actually really close to the end of the game. Um, so now that I have the hatching enzyme, we can come down here and we can hatch these guys. Did it. So, these guys are actually really nice. Um, they're little scamper babies. 
see Empress babies. Um, she's essentially going to pass away. Um, sad as that may be. Um, we're going to do two things real quick. First off, we're going to go down in here and collect oxygen real quick. We're going to hop out, come in here. We're going to unequip our gloves. Take a scanner out. As you see, our hands are all cracked and it's got green pustules on it. We're going to do self-scan. Nothing new. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, this little, lovely little thing right here is Concentrated Enzyme 42. And enjoy the fun cinema as we essentially heal ourselves from the Kara infection. Yay, we're healed. So, that is how you heal yourself from the Kara. Now, one of the best things we can do, we're going to go shut down the cannon. And that's probably going to be all for today, honestly. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> So now that we're healed, we're actually, we're no longer contaminated what we can do, um, which these guys will sit here and they'll hang out generally in this area for a while, um, just spitting out the enzyme. See? Cough, cough. <laughs> you hear your, you hear yourself with these guys' saliva. It's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Come back up here real quick. I'm just going to hop out. All right. And now uh, we go. teleporter room, which should actually be the teleporter to the um, the lava uh, power reactor area. Let's go this way. This way. This way. <laughs> well, I thank you. The timing was perfect. <laughs> Oops.
So glad I can't damage my ship that way. And now the cannon's all slumped over and shut down. The cannon is no more. Um, and one of the things you'll notice after doing all of this is slowly but surely, um, all of the fish that you once saw with the Kara infection will no longer have the Kara infection. They'll slowly start not having it. Um, the ventilation system that was shown previously um, allows for peepers to carry the Kara, the um, Enzyme 42, out of the area and allow for essentially themselves to be eaten by all the creatures and cure them from the Kara, which is the name for the infection. We're about 600 meters back from the base. We're gonna head back to the base and then we will sign off for the night. Good old Neptune. And that will be our next episode. Next episode might actually be the Neptune. And then from there, we might do the lore episode or we might do the lore episode next and then build the Neptune to finish off the whole thing. Um, not really sure yet. So we shall see. Um, but I would like to thank, uh, all of my followers, um, for supporting me throughout the, the series and that we're on episode six right now of this whole series. Um, it's been fun. It's been great. I've been enjoying it. <laughs> I hope all of you have been enjoying it as well. Back into the base. Let's do it on the Cyclops. Ugh. I would actually enjoy having a base like this. Right. Um, <laughs> put this back on. Oh, and by the way, I did not know about this, but you can actually get yourself a bag of chips. The coffee machine also does work. <laughs> I'm going to challenge the. Meg to a death match. <laughs> you know what? Um, just for you, bananas. Before I leave, I will go challenge the Meg. Before I actually leave 
the base. Um, I might do it in the lore episode. Um, I will go challenge the mega, the mega monster, and take him on. The Reaper. <laughs> um, I, you know what? It, it, it's possible I could do both. I could do the Reaper, and I could also do the Lava Dragon. Um, because I don't know if anybody's actually taken out the Lava Dragon before. Um, but I know the trick to it is, is you use a Stasis Rifle, and you use the Heat Blade. Um, and essentially use a Stasis Rifle to shoot them. It'll freeze them for all about like five seconds or so, and then you just hack at them like crazy. <laughs> Um, but I will, I will probably do that on the lore episode. Um, and just because in good spirit of other streams, my character will take a nap. <laughs> I built a bed, might as well use it, right? <laughs> so. There we are for the night. Um, that is what we have. Um, I enjoy you all for for being here. And um, I'm sorry, that's a, a bit loud. There we go. I wanted to be background sound. <laughs> Um, I thank you guys for, um, supporting me and being with, uh, being here. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mrs. Thank you, Bananas, for stopping in, uh, Foxtown, Cool Cat, Triad, um, all of my followers. Um, I thank you guys for being here on the stream and watching my, um, uh, supporting me. Um, we're coming close to the end of the Subnautica series. Um, after the Subnautica series, I will be, um, most likely I will be not streaming anymore due to, uh, moving and changing locations and so forth. So, um, just keep in touch with my, uh, my Twitch page, um, it, where I'll be updating my schedule. Um, also if you want. You can join my Discord, and if you are curious about any of my previous videos, I have a YouTube as well where I post all the videos for you guys to uh, enjoy and watch because I know Twitch doesn't hold on to all my VODs, um, so uh, all my videos, including this one, will be there for you guys to watch as well. Um, Aside from that, um, uh, as you guys can see, I do have a merch uh, page that's up and running. Uh, just not, it's pretty much just my logo right now. Um, but all merch sales will go to upgrades for the, the stream itself, you know, better camera, so forth, so on, all that deal. Um, totally up to you guys free for you guys to do and all that um i i'm not pushing it i'm on here streaming for my own fun just to enjoy it with you guys um and let's see if there is somebody i can raid there is somebody i can raid i am gonna try to do this i haven't done this before but supposedly I can raid. So we're going to try to do a, a raid. Yes. 
So raid, and then I should just have to put the name in if I'm correct. I don't know if it, if it works. <laughs> Oh, is it no? Oh, my bad, my bad. See, thank you. This is, I, I've, I haven't done this before. So this will be the first time I actually do this. I don't know if that works. I don't know if it's actually set up. Oh, no. Okay. See? Thank you. You need a forward slash. Okay, okay. I see now. Okay, okay. There we go. Thank you so much. <laughs> woot woot. Yes. Send her all the love and all that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, please send her all the love and everything else. Ra Raiders ready to go. Let's hit this up. Thank you so much for that help, mister.